Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. Welcome back to the full playthrough walkthrough of Elden Ring. In part 15, we are going to finally do what I've been talking about doing the past couple walkthroughs. We're going to continue in our adventure of Western Caled here, and we're going to do the mine finally. So we'll be able to level up our weapon a couple times, hopefully, by the end of that, and then we will continue along through Western Caled. All right, I'll share my stats. Currently, whoops, currently level 63 with 31 vigor, 26 mind, 32 dex, using a Yuji Katana plus 11. All right, I'm just going to see if I can upgrade my flasks at all. Nope, nope, okay, all good. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and go to Fort Gale North. All right, so just to the northwest-ish of Fort Gale is going to be the path to the mine. Yeah, right here. All right, I'm just going to run past these guys. Gale Tunnel. This is what we've been looking for the whole damn time. See ya. All right. So once you enter Gale Tunnel, it's not that you can't leave, but there's no elevator that goes back up. So once you're in here, you're kind of in here. But I got you covered. So, in my mind, I feel like Radan's soldiers have kind of, like, discovered this cave. Or maybe they've, like, enslaved the rock people to work for them. I feel like that's probably a better bet. Um, like, they've kind of enslaved these folks to mine the place for them. Give them the resources. And, you know, they're just sort of like slave drivers. But they seem, like, this right here says to me that, like, they haven't fully, like, uncovered the secrets of the cave. Because they're sort of, like, hiding right there, right? They sort of see that uh, land octopus, and they're like, you know, what do we do about this thing? Like, what's that about, you know? At least that's the way I see it. Like, they seem to be a little afraid. Ow. Oh, no. If you're able to craft fire arrows, it makes these guys a lot easier to deal with. Because you can just actually shoot their bags. Nope. Come on. Oh, it went off. That sucks. 
Oh, God. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Guy's hacking away over there. Oh, you guys are just in the worst pattern possible for me. Oh, my God, dude. There we go. There's one. Oh, boy. Level four smithing shards. That's why we came here. So we can level up our weapon finally. Alright. So Gale Tunnel is pretty large. It's got a lot going on. Are you gonna come back up? Of course you are. Even though the guy with a katana is waiting for you at the top. You're still going to make your way up here. No. I know that I missed a tunnel. I'm just... Trying to see where this one leads. This one goes to the boss. Isn't there a side of grace over here? There is. Yes, okay, cool. So this is actually kind of neat. Uh, Gale Tunnel, believe it or not, lets out in Limgrave. So it's a mine that descends the mountain. Pretty cool. And you're actually just by the Church of America over here. All right, before we fight the boss, though, I have to look up what the boss is. I don't actually know. I'll look on my video list. What the hell is that? Might be a falling star beast. I hope it's not, but it could be. I'll look it up once we're ready to fight it. There was another route that we didn't take, though. It's always hard to see the, the shards. Gale Tunnel. Oh, it's a magma worm. I hate those things. I really can't stand magma worms. They are my least favorite bosses in the entire game. Outside of the Godskin duo, easily they're easily my least favorite repeating boss. Like, consistently. I can't stand magma worms. They're just not fun. <clears throat> Oh, I assume there's way more in here. That's why I didn't go this way. All right. Thanks. So, land octopuses are interesting. You kind of just want to keep uh, hitting their beaks until you're able to get a visceral. Got to watch out, though. Because, believe it or not, they are able to eat their own limbs and regenerate. And they can also regenerate their limbs, although you can cut those off. So, it's, it's, they're pretty interesting enemies. I like them a lot. The Cross Naginata. Alright, let's go fight this magma worm, I guess. I'm not enthused about this. Magma worms are tough. I can't remember if we fought one already or not. I don't think we have. Um, they're interesting. Um, they're base. They're worms, so or W Y R M. So they're dragonkin. 
The good news is that you get a dragon heart for killing them. Uh, the bad news is that they're kind of annoying. Um, basically, they slither around and they drop lava all over the place. So you can't really even chase them too often. Or too hard. Yeah, see, like, they, they just immediately start with the bullshit. So they're tough. And, like, you're fighting in a, in a round room, which means that it can track the wall. And as it does that, it will continue to breathe lava the whole time. When they get to around 60 to 50% health, they will start fighting you on their hind legs. And when that happens, you gotta watch out for their weapon. Whoa. You don't really even get much damage off of a visceral on these guys. Not a visceral, but, you know, the uh, big attacks. Oh, boy. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you going to get on your hind legs, or is that only the big ones? Maybe it's only the big ones that get on their hind legs. Like the great magma worms or whatever. That was all of them. Yeah, this this is why they're annoying. Because even when you try to attack them while they're, like, chasing themselves with lava, it's, like, impossible. And they just fill the whole room. And, like, y you want to just chase them down so you can start dealing damage to them. But then they start running away again. I don't, I don't find these fights fun. Whoa. I couldn't even see what he was doing. He was, like, inside the wall. Well, that's the magma worm. I guess only the giant ones get up on their hind legs. All right. So you get the dragon heart. And wow, I didn't actually know that this dropped this. You also get the moon veil. The moon veil is probably the best katana in the game. But, well, it's between this and one at the very end of the game. Not the very end, but close to the end. The problem is that this one has an uh, intelligence requirement. So this is really, really good for uh, like battle mage builds. So a katana mixed with a lot of in, uh, sorceries, this will do you really, really right. They are very, very good weapons. Um, it, it scales with strength, dex, and then intelligence. So it has high intelligence scaling, which makes it even better for, uh, for int builds. Let's return to the entrance. All right. Luckily, it brings you up to the Gale Tunnel entrance over here. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to proceed to Jail Cave. And once we reach the entrance of that, I will... Uh, Warp back to round table hold to uh, level up my weapon. So it's south of Fort Gale North. Should, where the hell is it? All right, we'll find it. It should be, like, right over here. Hmm. I may genuinely need to look this up. 
It has an exit at, um... It has an exit in Limgrave. But I don't know where the entrance is. I could have sworn it was like right over here. Yeah, the exit is right where those white rocks are down there. Where the hell's the entrance? It also requires a stone sword key to get into. Hmm. Is it over here? Is it up here? I think it's in here. Yeah, this is it. I guess let's kill the bird first. I believe this is it. Uh, all I remember is that it requires a... Oh, shit, there's two of them. All I really remember is that it requires a stone sword key. Oh! God damn it, they're both here. I thought one was going to leave me alone. I don't know why I thought that. Yes, of course. What is happening? <sighs> Come on. I almost died. That was a lot. Okay. Just trying to make sure there's nothing too much. There's not like too much else over here. But looks like we're good. Okay. Really? All right, I need to look this up. Jail cave entrance. Oh, it's in the swamp. Okay, it's in the swamp. Uh, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go upgrade my weapon real quick. Yeah. Why can't I remember how to use the whetstone? Oh, 
Oh, nice. Wow, big upgrades. Big upgrades. Got to 14 that time. Do you do it in the same menu? No, why can't I remember how to use whetstones? The whetstones. It's not that important. Okay. Change affinity Elden Ring. How do you do that? Okay, you do it when equipping an Ash of War. <laughs> I literally never used Ashes of War in my first playthrough. So I spent like 150 hours in this game not using a major system. So forgive me for having to kind of learn a couple things, a couple giant things as I play through this game with you. All right. So we got to go down to the swamp here. We already fought that pumpkin head. All right. Cool. So this is a swamp, but as long as you're riding on torrent, you really won't have to worry about it. Uh, this is a candelabra that will spawn a ghost that shows you how to get here or how to get into the uh, into jail cave. But we know where it is, so it's all good. All right, so the boss of this place is actually pretty cool. Uh, it is a... Oh, my God, what are they called? The big brolic dudes that I love so much. Um, oh, my God. I can't remember the name of these things. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? My memory is just not working. Jail cave. The duelist. It's a duelist. This one, however, is a frenzy duelist. But you'll see what that means in a little bit. All right, so this cave is uh, really cool. It's got, like, several looping kind of pathways going on. Um, yeah, it's just, it's neat. Um, and it also has a back exit that, like I said earlier, lets out in Limgrave. But it actually lets out on a cliff that has a weapon on it. So what that means is uh, you not only you know get the rewards for killing the boss and everything within the cave, but you also get a special weapon at the end as well. Did I know that was going to happen? No. But I wasn't worried. Once I saw the dead end, I was like, yeah, it's probably going to crumble. Yeah, you can bonk these guys through the grate, which I actually recommend doing. This way, when you eventually do open the cells, you don't really have to deal with them. And luckily, there's no such thing as repairing an Elden Ring. Don't have to worry about it. Oh. That was cool. I didn't know you actually got to see him from up there. Vulgar Militia. I can never remember the name of their little band. Vulgar Militia. I gotta keep that... I, I gotta remember that. Right. I think I'm just gonna like deal with it when I open the, the gate. 
<clears throat> well, that's weird. It didn't stack bleed. Usually these guys stack bleed. Should be coming up on the switch. Or rather back into that room where the first vulgar militia showed up. Hey, mama rat. I don't know why I went so ham on the rat there. Shouldn't have done that. Unfortunately, this is technically a cave and not a mine, even though it shares, like, oh god, the kind of vibe of a mine. So you won't really find shards in here. Oh god, dude. There's the bleed. I guess maybe only the hatchets do bleed. The militia saw. Alright. Open the door. And then I believe the switch is in here. All right, so this opens all of the cells. Within cells interlinked, within cells interlinked. What's it like to hold the hand of the person you love within cells interlinked? Uh-oh. Ooh, the pillory shield. That's funny. Pillar is what you, I think what you get locked into to get flogged. Is this where the floor crumbled? Oh, this is the entrance. Wow, okay. I realize we got all the way back there. What's the description on this thing? Pillory made to punish felons uses a shield, though made of good, sturdy wood. It is only a makeshift tool and performs as such. Perhaps you do its use as a device with which the guilty were made to endure prolonged suffering. It raises vitality. Maybe the stocks were what you were locked into to be flogged. I can't remember. I'm not up on my medieval torture. All right, so I'm not really looking for the boss right now. I'm looking for treasure. I believe the boss is this way, though. Nice. The Wakazashi. It's not a katana? With a name like Wakazashi, it's not a katana? The dagger. Right. It's the other. The, the tiny sword. What do we 
got through here. I feel like I might have gotten all the treasure, but I can never really be sure. All right, and this leads into the room, right? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, let's go to the boss. Like I said, the boss is the Frenzied Duelist. It's a cool fight. It's a big brolic duelist with an axe. Uh, duelists are able to be parried. I am terrible at parrying in this game, so I probably won't partake. But you can fish out backstabs like crazy. Rainbow stone, nice. I believe this starts the fight. Yeah. All right, so he takes off his robe. He's ready to rock. Oh, boy. I love the sound of duelist weapons hitting the, the floor. It's such a cool sound. I never get tired of hearing it. All right, but he goes down pretty quick. All right, so you're going to get your reward for that, which is the putrid corpse ashes. Those are the exploding guys. And then you come back out to Limgrave, and then you get the regalia of Yakid. The regalia of Yakid, or is it Okid? Okid? I've seen Owen spelled sort of similar. I don't know. Hey, oh, actually... Owen, specifically you, if you're watching, let me know how to pronounce that. It's one of my stream viewers who comments on, on, on videos sometimes. I know he watches my stuff. Um, anyway, so it's a cool weapon. Um, it's sort of like the weapon that um, the bell-bearing hunters use, albeit much smaller. But you kind of get to whip it around. It's really neat. But yeah, we're back here, and it's the... Third Church America, so a couple ways down to Limgrave. I, I enjoy seeing that a lot. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's go back to the smoldering wall, and then we will adventure further on into Kaelid. Bring my map again. Alright. So let's follow the guidance of Grace. There is a Knight's Cavalry in this area. Is this a vendor? Looks like it. Yeah. Well, what do you got? Nothing. <laughs> you are useless to me. All right, all good. The Sight of Grace here, along with a war story here. The Battle of Aeonia, Radon and Melania locked in stalemate. Then the Scarlet Rot blooms. Awesome. So this is where it went down. This is where Radon and Melania, or Melania, did their thing. Okay. Caleb Waypoint Ruins. Let's go there. This is the swamp where the jail cave is, right? Yep, that's exactly where we were. Let's explore the ruins. Oh, hello. Yeah, these guys are probably, like, some of the most annoying enemies in the game. I think they're called, like, Servant of Rot, I think. They're, uh, they're tough. They shoot, like, strings out at you. What the hell is this place? Never been here. I really think I must have just rushed through Kaelid. I think everything was just kicking my ass for so long. 
that I just tried to get the hell out. Cool, man. All right. Love finding new stuff. I really do. Yeah, let's quiet you down. Oh, there is a full-grown one here. No, that came from the little squids. Meteoric ore blade? Bro, I never found this. Katana. Katana forged from meteoric ore to dispatch life forms born of falling stars? The blade is weighty, known to deliver slashes of such ferocity that the impact is said to resemble the crash of falling. Jesus! 18 intellect, though. That sucks. Damn, that's, f that's far out, man. It's interesting that you can summon down here. Prawn. <laughs> yeah, why? Is that for a puzzle? This is the Kaled Waypoint Ruins. Kaled Waypoint Ruins. All right, so nobody on the wiki said anything about a puzzle or anything, but still cool. Well, I guess you can summon anywhere in the ruins. Got it. That makes more sense. Oh, God. Okay. This isn't good. Uh-uh. Wow. That was close as hell, dude. Wow. That was rough. <laughs> that was really rough. Man, I can't believe we just survived that. All right, let's take advantage of this. Oh, we'll suss him out. Unbelievable. I might be dead. Yeah, my wolves ain't doing too well. Oh, thank God for the wolves. Thank God for the wolves, man. Oh, I thought he was dead. Wow. All right. All right. Oh, God. Please, Scarlet Dogs. I don't, I don't want Scarlet Rot today. Thank you. I'm good. Wow. I definitely just 
cruised through this whole zone, didn't I? My first time around. <clears throat> oh. Ah. All right. I think that's it. Anything over here? All right. Cool. Let's move on. Let's go kill a dragon. <clears throat> Whoops. Thought that was a two hit dog. There's a dragon over here. So we can rest at this side of Grace. Did we already activate this one? No. So let's get our flask back. Can't hurt. There it is. All right, so this is a dragon that can breathe scarlet rot, which is, you know, as great as it sounds. Oh, wow, we're not, okay. not doing much damage to this guy. So, luckily, you, you do have decent opportunity to hit him in the face. You do want to watch out, though, because the stomps uh, can produce scarlet rot. Its breath is exclusively Scarlet Rot. <clears throat> yeah, so those big stomps, they will produce a, a cloud of Scarlet Rot. And then it can do that. That extends quite far. Jeez, I didn't realize it go that far. Right. Luckily, it doesn't last long. I do wish the the music for Decaying Exikes was a bit different. It's like a sad boss, you know? It's a decaying dragon. He's completely getting chewed up by Scarlet Rot from the inside out. He has the same, like, epic boss music as every other dragon. I don't know. Small complaint. I know. <clears throat> Ooh, the flask up just to give uh, Torrance some some life. It's weird. He went quite far. Nice. We'll probably get the kill on this. Yeah, you love 
to see it. Alright, so that is decaying Exites. And believe it or not, he is just outside the church or the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Thank you for the correction prompt. And so you can literally just go by his ability if you like. Be careful, there is a Draconic Warrior here. He's kind of defending the area. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook number three. Dragon Moon Grease. All right, we examine the altar. We have a bunch of stuff. Um, dragon incantations have faith and arcane requirements, so it's a very specific kind of build. I think the highest arcane requirement is 18 or 17. So you don't have to go too high, but... They are pretty cool. This is where you spend your dragon hearts, as well as uh, the Church of Dragon Communion back in Limgrave. All right. <sighs> okay. Just checking things out here. I mean, there's the map stone. That's Redmain Castle. We've been there. That's the Divine Tower. Okay. Cool. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, check the map. I can hire myself. Church of Dragon Community Cathedral. Caled Catacombs are over here. But I think it's better for us to change it to Knight, and then we'll fight a Knight's Cavalry here. There's a Side of Grace over here. There it is. Yeah, let's rest until night, and then we'll fight the Knight's Cavalry. The Knight's Cavalry patrols right near the map stone, which is literally right here. So this one has, I believe, the, yeah, the flail. Frida, bring me my flail. But by this stage of the game, <clears throat> our weapon is pretty well upgraded, so it's not going to give us too much grief. The area you fight him in is a little annoying, though. Whoa! Buddy boy. Oh, my God. All right. Oh! Oh! Holy shit. Comboed me, man. Good for you. Oh, boy. I should really put some raisins on my bar. Yeah, there you go. Probably gonna summon. Yep. Man, I really wish they would give that to players. Just that summon animation is so cool. I like the whistle and all. I actually do the whistle all the time in real life. But 
There it goes. <clears throat> I just wish uh, you could get a cool summon animation. Oh, <gasps> whoa. That was a good hitbox. I mean, that should have hit me. That was just nice. All right, there you go. There's that Knight's Cavalry. Get the Poison Moth Flight, Ash of War. All right, so like I said, Caleb Catacombs are over here. So let's go over this way. We're actually gonna light a Sight of Grace and, yep, get this. So the way we got to Castle Redmain was via a teleport. However, this is the normal way. That said, however, this is called, quite literally, the Impassable Bridge. And it is, oh, Jesus. And it is called that because when you attempt to pass it, uh, you will notice that it is, to say it's guarded is an understatement. But the catapults and the trebuchets here are gonna mess your day up. Wait, is the festival active? going on did we activate the festival There's another way to activate the festival, I guess. It's probably talking to EG. Wow. Okay. I'm not ready to fight Radon. I don't want to do that. Oh, my God. Okay. Well. Man, Kayla just continues to blow my mind. Okay, so I guess talking with EG was a trigger for the festival. We'll do the festival another time. I don't want to do it now. Um, just because Radon got nerfed into oblivion and then re-patched. <laughs> so I am, like, not <laughs> ready to fight him. Star Scourge conflict. Radon alone holds Celia secure and stands tall to shatter the stars. Cool. Hey. Nice, crag blade. Cool, I never got that. Yeah, I really never did a lot in Kaled, I guess. Well, anyway. Let's go to this uh, catacomb over here. I don't know why I said catacomb like that. I'm assuming this guy dropped something. I don't know why I'm making that assumption, but that's why I'm spending time going after him. Also, why I didn't just dismount there and execute him, I don't know. It's just one of those things, you know? <gasps> oh my god, alright. We gotta fight him for real. Yes. Okay, cool. Why would he drop anything? That wouldn't make any sense. Just to get your bearings on the map, we're right here. Right, there's a big crow that's going to drop down. Nice, we actually managed to miss him.
All right, welcome to the Caleb Catacombs. So this is going to be like our last thing that we do in this walkthrough. All right. What uh what is the boss? Caleb Catacombs. Never been here. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking Caleb. Caleb Catacombs. Unless I just mislabeled the boss fight, I've never been here. Yep. This doesn't look familiar. Well, we're going through it together, everybody. How's that? Oh, it's blossom. <sighs> Bad location. I rolled. <laughs> you gotta love that it's consistent, at least. <clears throat> Rolling in any sort of swamp is a bad idea. I can't remember if I mentioned that in this video. I know I mentioned it in the last one for sure, but if you roll in a swamp, your entire body gets coated in uh, whatever the swamp is. What has happened? Why do I still have it? Why? The only reason I know that... Wow, that's actually the answer? How the hell are you supposed to know? The only reason I know this, the only reason I know this, is because I saw a video on Twitter of somebody using uh, Law of Regression on a pillar like that. How the hell are you supposed to know that? Well, anyway, let's see what the boss is. Oh, Cemetery Shade. Oh. All right. Well, that's that. That's all that's in here. Kindred of Rot's Ashes. Kalid Catacombs. Elden Ring. Miranda Sprout Ashes are in here. Yeah, I thought that was an illusory wall there. Man. Weird. Yeah, there's an ash in this room. Okay, not an illusory wall, but... Oh! Jesus. Okay, well, that's that. I can't believe I've never been here. I mean, I can. Like, I'm... It just blows my mind. Like, I've... 
I spent so much time tediously going through this game. And, uh, yeah, you just never know what you miss. You never, never know what you miss in this game. Okay. Well, let's do the thing. Let's go back to round table. I don't think I can level up again. I don't think I can level up my weapon again. No. I want to see something. Because we activated the festival, I need to see something. Normally, after you meet Ronnie and you speak to the three shades, you know, one of the shades is Blythe. And Blythe tells you that he's going to go back to the Mistwood and look for the entrance to Nokron. Now, Blythe would normally be over here next he is there okay interesting so he's both at the festival and he's here all right all right yeah he says all right Gotcha. So yeah, he says let's uh, maybe Celavus is hiding something or not hiding something, but you know maybe he's he's got more to tell us, and I can tell you that he does. Um, but for now, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this quest line. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this quest line in this video. Um, we will do it. Don't worry, because um, it leads to a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, for now, we'll we'll definitely just call it here. Yeah, so the trigger for the festival is EG. After you've spoken to Homeboy. Cool. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. Um, unbelievable that we found yet another dungeon that I've never done before. But we'll, we'll end it here. I want to give a thank you to my channel members. Thank you very much to John Aldrich, Tammy Skinner, Hector J. Estrada, Joe Saunders, Daniel Cockreel, Brian Brubaker, Spencer Young, Charles Jan, Phoenix Loader, the one and only me, one, two, three, Joshua S., Dan Al, Tiptoe Water 12, Jude Lazowski, B Tide, The Old One, and Good Luck. Thank you very much to my channel members. Your support is appreciated. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. I want to let you guys know right now, I've been waiting four days for part 10 of this walkthrough to finish processing, and it has finally finished processing in standard definition 360p. I don't care. Now I can finally keep uploading these things. Jesus. Anyway, uh, leave a question if you have any. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, if you're looking for more guides, subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and to join my community Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.